Lesson 1, Time Management Hi Anna, same here. I've been struggling to stick to my schedule lately. How about you? Hi John. I can relate. Time management can be challenging, especially when there are many tasks to juggle. Absolutely. I find myself getting easily distracted and not making the most of my time. One strategy that has helped me is setting clear goals for each day and prioritizing tasks. That's a good approach. I should try setting specific goals to stay focused and organized. Another helpful technique is breaking down larger tasks into smaller, more manageable ones. That makes sense. Breaking tasks into smaller steps can make them seem less overwhelming. Yes, and it gives you a sense of progress as you complete each smaller task. I'll definitely give it a try. Do you have any other tips for better time management? One thing that works for me is using a planner or digital calendar to schedule my activities. That's a good suggestion. Having a visual representation of my schedule can help me stay on track. Additionally, it's important to allocate time for breaks and self-care. It helps maintain productivity. You're right. I often forget to take breaks, and it ends up affecting my productivity in the long run. Remember, it's all about finding a balance between work and rest. Taking breaks can actually boost efficiency. I'll keep that in mind. Sometimes it's easy to overlook the importance of self-care. Absolutely. Taking care of ourselves is crucial for overall well-being and effective time management. Thank you for sharing these tips. I appreciate your insights. You're welcome. I'm glad I could help. Remember, practicing good time management takes time and effort. I understand. I'll start implementing these strategies and work towards better time management. Great. I'm confident that with consistent practice, you'll see improvements in managing your time effectively. Thank you. I'm grateful for your support. Here's to better time management and increased productivity. Lesson 2. Outsourcing Considerations Hi Anna. I've been reading some trade magazines lately. Should we consider outsourcing some of our tasks? Hi John, that's an interesting idea. Outsourcing certain tasks can have its advantages. Which tasks are you thinking of? Well, I was thinking about outsourcing our customer support to a specialized call center. That could be a good idea. It would allow us to focus more on our core business while ensuring quality customer service. Yes, and it might also help us save costs in the long run. We could explore different outsourcing options and compare prices. Absolutely. It's important to do thorough research and find a reliable outsourcing partner that aligns with our needs. 
We could start by contacting a few outsourcing companies and requesting proposals to see what they can offer. That's a good plan. We can evaluate their services, expertise, and pricing to make an informed decision. Another benefit of outsourcing is that it can provide access to specialized skills and resources that we may not have in-house. That's true. We can tap into the expertise of professionals who are dedicated to specific areas of our business. It would also allow us to scale our operations more easily during busy periods or when we need extra support. That flexibility can be a significant advantage for our business. We can adapt to changing demands more efficiently. However, we should also consider the potential challenges of outsourcing, such as communication and data security. Absolutely. We need to ensure that there is clear and effective communication between our team and the outsourcing partner. And we must establish proper data protection measures and ensure that sensitive information is handled securely. I agree. It's crucial to have proper contracts and agreements in place to protect our interests and maintain confidentiality. Overall, outsourcing can be a strategic move for our business, but we need to weigh the pros and cons before making a decision. Definitely. It's important to evaluate the potential benefits against the risks and ensure that outsourcing aligns with our goals. I'm glad we discussed this. It's given me a clearer perspective on the possibilities and considerations of outsourcing. I'm glad I could contribute to the discussion. Let's continue to explore this topic further and make an informed decision. Absolutely. Let's gather more information and make a well-thought-out choice that will benefit our business in the long run. Lesson 3. Travel Destinations Hi Anna, I've been researching travel destinations and I need some advice. Can you help me? Hi John. Of course, I'd be happy to help. What destinations are you considering? I've heard great things about Halong Bay and Hoi An. They're both in Vietnam and I'm thinking of adding them to my must-visit list. Oh, those are excellent choices. I completely agree. Halong Bay is known for its stunning limestone islands and emerald waters. That's exactly what caught my attention. The pictures I've seen are breathtaking. I can't wait to witness the beauty in person. You won't be disappointed. Halong Bay offers various activities like kayaking and boat tours that allow you to explore the mesmerizing landscape. Kayaking and boat tours sound like fantastic ways to immerse myself in the natural wonders of Halong Bay. I'll definitely give them a try. And don't forget to visit the nearby caves, such as the famous Sung Sok Cave. They're like hidden treasures waiting to be discovered. I'll make sure to explore the caves as well. It'll add an extra element of adventure to my trip. Now, let's talk about Hoi An. Hoi An is a charming town known for its well-preserved ancient architecture and its vibrant lantern festival. The combination of history and culture is what draws me to Hoi An. 
I'm excited to wander through its streets and soak in the atmosphere. Be sure to visit the Japanese covered bridge, a symbol of the town. It's a beautiful example of Japanese architecture and has historical significance. The Japanese covered bridge is definitely on my list. I enjoy learning about different cultures and their architectural influences. You'll also find numerous tailor shops in Hoyan. It's famous for its custom made clothing. You can have unique pieces made just for you. That's fascinating. Having custom made clothing would be a special souvenir from my trip. I'll definitely check out the tailor shops. Wonderful. Vietnam is a beautiful country with so much to offer. Halong Bay and Hoi An are just a taste of its rich cultural heritage. I can't wait to experience it all. Thank you for your recommendations. Your insights have been invaluable in shaping my travel plans. You're welcome. I'm glad I could help. Remember to embrace the local cuisine and engage with the friendly Vietnamese people. Absolutely. Trying the local food and connecting with the locals are essential parts of my travel experience. I appreciate your help. Lesson 4. Keeping Secrets Hi Anna, have you ever had to keep a secret that was difficult to keep? Hi John. Oh, definitely. There have been times when I had to keep my lips sealed and not spill the secret. It can be tough, right? How do you manage to keep a secret without letting it slip? One approach I find helpful is reminding myself of the importance of trust and the consequences of revealing the secret. That's a good point. Emphasizing the significance of trust can help us stay committed to keeping the secret. Absolutely. I also try to avoid situations or conversations where the secret might accidentally come up. That's a smart strategy. Steering clear of potential triggers can reduce the chances of inadvertently revealing the secret. Another thing I do is divert the conversation if someone starts getting too close to the topic of the secret. That's a clever tactic. Redirecting the conversation can help avoid any slip-ups and maintain the secrecy. Additionally, I choose my confidants wisely. I only share the secret with people I trust completely and know can keep it confidential. Selecting trustworthy individuals is crucial. Sharing a secret with the wrong person can lead to unintended leaks. Exactly. It's essential to assess the reliability and discretion of the people we confide in. Are there any techniques you use to resist the temptation of sharing the secret with others? Yes, I remind myself of the potential negative consequences and the impact it may have on the person who entrusted me with the secret. That's a great point. Considering the potential harm that could arise from revealing the secret can help us resist the temptation. It's also important to remember that keeping a secret demonstrates our integrity and reliability as individuals. I agree. 
Being known as someone who can be trusted with sensitive information is a valuable reputation to uphold. Definitely. Trust is a fundamental aspect of any relationship, and maintaining that trust requires us to honor our commitments to secrecy. It's clear that keeping a secret requires discipline and a strong sense of responsibility. Absolutely. It's a skill that can be developed and strengthened over time. Thank you for sharing your insights. It's been helpful to learn about different strategies for keeping secrets. Lesson 5, Travel Planning Hi Anna, I've been thinking about our upcoming trip. We should plan our itinerary to make sure we don't miss out on anything. Hi John. That's a good idea. We can include a mix of popular tourist attractions and off-the-beaten-path gems. Definitely. We should start by researching the must-see sites and landmarks in the destination. Yes, and we can also check for any special events or festivals happening during our visit. It would be great to experience the local culture. That's a good point. We don't want to miss out on any unique cultural experiences. We should mark those on our itinerary. Absolutely. It's also important to allocate enough time for each activity or attraction. We don't want to feel rushed. Right. We should consider the opening hours of museums and other places of interest to plan our schedule accordingly. Another thing to keep in mind is the transportation options available. We should research the most convenient ways to get around. Good thinking. We can look into public transportation, like buses or trains, as well as any guided tours or bike rentals. It would also be helpful to reach out to friends or acquaintances who have been to the destination before. They might have recommendations. Yes, getting insider tips can be valuable. They can suggest hidden gems or local restaurants that we wouldn't find in travel guides. Absolutely. We can also use online travel forums or apps to read reviews and recommendations from other travelers. That's a great idea. Hearing about other people's experiences can give us a better sense of what to expect and help us make informed decisions. We should also allow some flexibility in our itinerary to account for unexpected discoveries or spontaneous activities. I agree. Leaving room for spontaneity can often lead to the most memorable experiences during a trip. Lastly, we should keep a budget in mind as we plan our itinerary. It's important to allocate funds for accommodations, meals, and activities. Absolutely. We don't want to overspend or be caught off guard by unexpected expenses. Budgeting is an essential part of travel planning. Agreed. By considering all these factors, we can create a well-rounded itinerary that allows us to make the most of our trip. I'm excited to start planning and make sure we have an unforgettable travel experience. Let's get started. Definitely. 
Let's gather the information we need and create an itinerary that combines the best of what the destination has to offer. I'm looking forward to it. This trip is going to be amazing. Lesson 6. Exciting Hobbies Hi Anna, I've been exploring different hobbies lately. It's been quite interesting. What about you? Hey. That sounds intriguing. I've been engaged in various hobbies for a while now. It's a great way to unwind. That's wonderful. I'm curious, how long have you been doing these hobbies? Well, I've been pursuing some of these hobbies for several years, while others I've recently picked up. That's impressive. It must be rewarding to have developed your skills over time. Absolutely. It's fulfilling to see progress and improvement in the activities I enjoy. I'm trying to find a hobby that I can stick with for the long term. Any suggestions? There are so many possibilities. What are your interests or things you've always wanted to try? I've always been fascinated by photography and painting. Do you think those are good options? Definitely. Photography and painting are both wonderful hobbies that offer creative outlets and opportunities for self-expression. That's encouraging to hear. I'll give them a try and see which one resonates with me the most. That's a great approach. Exploring different hobbies will help you discover your true passion. I'm also interested in learning a musical instrument. Have you ever tried playing an instrument? Yes, I have. I played the piano for several years now, and it's been a fulfilling journey. That's impressive. How did you get started with learning the piano? I took lessons when I was younger and eventually developed a love for playing. Practice and dedication played a significant role. That's inspiring. I'll look into finding a beginner's class for the instrument I choose. That's a good idea. Learning from a teacher or joining a group class can provide guidance and support. Besides hobbies, do you also engage in any physical activities or sports? Yes, I do. I enjoy going for regular runs and practicing yoga to stay active and maintain a healthy lifestyle. That's great. Physical activities are a fantastic way to keep both the body and mind in good shape. Absolutely. Exercise and sports help improve overall well-being and can be a lot of fun too. Thank you for sharing your experiences and suggestions. I'm excited to explore these hobbies further. Lesson 7. Protecting valuables with a safety deposit box. Hi Anna, have you ever considered using a safety deposit box for your valuables? Hi John. Yes, I have. It's an excellent way to ensure the safety and protection of important belongings. Absolutely. 
Safety deposit boxes are typically offered by banks and provide a secure storage option. They are indeed secure. The boxes are usually kept in a vault with advanced security measures. That's right. The vaults are equipped with surveillance systems and access control to prevent unauthorized entry. It's comforting to know that our valuables are protected. Safety is a top priority. Definitely. Safety deposit boxes are especially useful for storing important documents like passports, wills, or property deeds. They are also great for storing valuable items such as jewelry, heirlooms, or rare collectibles. Absolutely. Keeping these items in a safety deposit box minimizes the risk of loss or damage. It's important to note that the contents of a safety deposit box are typically not insured. We should check with the bank about their policies. That's a good point. We should inquire about insurance options or consider obtaining separate coverage for our valuables. Additionally, it's essential to keep an inventory of the items we store in the safety deposit box. Documentation is key. Absolutely. Having a detailed inventory will help us keep track of our belongings and provide proof of ownership if needed. When accessing the safety deposit box, we usually need to present proper identification. It's an added layer of security. Right. Banks require identification to ensure that only authorized individuals can access the box. It's also important to keep the box's key or access card secure and separate from our personal belongings. Absolutely. We should treat the key or access card with the same level of care and security as the valuables inside the box. Lastly, it's a good practice to review the bank's terms and conditions regarding the safety deposit box. Being informed is important. That's correct. We should understand the fees, access hours, and any other relevant policies before renting a safety deposit box. Thank you. I appreciate your insights on the benefits and considerations of using a safety deposit box. Thank you too. It's always important to prioritize the safety and protection of our valuables. Stay safe and secure. Lesson 8, Fun and Exercise Hi Anna, I've been thinking about organizing a fun event for everyone in our community. What do you think? Hi John. That's a great idea. It's important for people to have a space to have fun and exercise. I'm sure it will be well received. I was thinking of arranging a community sports day. We can have different games and activities for people of all ages. That sounds fantastic. It will encourage everyone to come together, socialize, and stay active. Exactly. We can have friendly competitions like relay races, tug of war, and even a three legged race. Those are excellent ideas. It will bring out the competitive spirit and create a lively atmosphere. 
I'm also considering including some non-competitive activities like yoga or dance classes for those who prefer a different kind of exercise. That's a thoughtful addition. It's important to cater to different interests and fitness levels. I was thinking of having some healthy refreshments available too, like fruit skewers and infused water. That's a great idea. It will promote healthy eating habits and provide a refreshing treat for everyone. I'll need some volunteers to help with the organization. Would you be interested in assisting? Absolutely. I'd be happy to lend a hand and help make the event a success. That's fantastic. Your expertise and enthusiasm will be invaluable. Thank you. I'm excited to contribute to such a fun and meaningful event. Let's start planning and spread the word. I'm sure our community will appreciate the effort. Definitely. We can create flyers and use social media to generate interest and gather participants. Great idea. We'll make sure everyone knows about the upcoming Community Sports Day. I'm looking forward to it. It will be a wonderful opportunity for our community to come together. Thank you for your support. Together, we can create a memorable and enjoyable event. Lesson 9, Bedroom Decor Hi Anna, I've been redecorating my bedroom, and I found a piece of artwork that matches my bedroom decor perfectly. Hi John. That's awesome. Finding the right artwork can really tie a room together. What kind of artwork did you find? It's a beautiful landscape painting with vibrant colors and a serene atmosphere. It adds a touch of nature to my space. That sounds lovely. Artwork can create a calming and inviting ambience in a bedroom. Definitely. I've been looking for a piece that reflects my personal style and brings a sense of tranquility. It's important to surround yourself with things that resonate with you and make you feel at ease in your own space. Absolutely. I believe that our environment greatly influences our mood and well-being. You're absolutely right. A well-decorated bedroom can contribute to a restful and peaceful atmosphere. Besides the artwork, I've also been considering adding some decorative pillows and a cozy throw blanket to my bed. That's a great idea. Pillows and blankets can add both comfort and visual interest to your bedroom. I've been browsing through different designs and textures to find ones that complement the overall theme. Experimenting with different patterns, colors, and textures can bring depth and character to your bedroom decor. I couldn't agree more. It's all about finding the right balance and creating a space that reflects your personality. Absolutely. Your bedroom should be a place where you can relax and unwind after a long day. That's exactly what I'm aiming for. A peaceful sanctuary where I can recharge and feel inspired. 
I'm sure with your attention to detail and your thoughtful approach, your bedroom will turn out beautifully. Thank you. I appreciate your encouragement. I'm excited to see the final result. Lesson 10, Hunting for Flight Deals Hi Anna, have you ever found any great flight deals? Any tips? Hi John. Yes, I found some amazing deals before. One tip is to keep an eye out for flash sales or promotions offered by airlines. It can save you a lot of money. That's good to hear. I'm planning a trip soon. Where are you from originally? I'm from California. Oh, I'm originally from New York. It's a bustling city with so much to explore. What about California? What do you like most about it? California is known for its beautiful beaches and sunny weather. I love the outdoor activities it offers, like hiking and surfing. It's a great place to relax and enjoy nature. That sounds wonderful. I've always wanted to visit California. Maybe I'll plan a trip there soon. Do you have any recommendations on must-visit places? Absolutely. You should definitely visit the stunning coastline of Big Sur and explore the iconic city of San Francisco with its Golden Gate Bridge. And of course, don't miss the glamour of Los Angeles and the breathtaking beauty of Yosemite National Park. Wow, those all sound like amazing places to visit. I'll make sure to add them to my travel list. By the way, do you have any tips for finding affordable accommodations? Sure. One tip is to consider staying in budget-friendly accommodations like hostels or goose houses. Another option is to use online platforms that offer deals on hotels and vacation rentals. Being flexible with your dates can also help you find better rates. That's great advice. Being flexible with dates can make a significant difference in finding affordable accommodations. I'll keep that in mind when I plan my trip. Definitely. Flexibility is key when it comes to finding the best flight deals too. Sometimes, adjusting your travel dates by a day or two can save you a lot of money. I agree. It's important to be open to different travel dates. It gives you more options and increases your chances of finding a great deal. Absolutely. So, when you're searching for flights, make sure to use different travel search engines and compare prices. And don't forget to sign up for airline newsletters to receive updates on promotions and discounts. That's a smart strategy. I'll make sure to utilize multiple search engines and sign up for newsletters. It's all about maximizing your chances of finding those hidden gems. Exactly. By being proactive and keeping an eye out for flight deals, you can save a significant amount of money. Happy travels and may you find some fantastic deals. Thank you. I appreciate the tips. I'm excited to start planning my trip and hopefully snag some great flight deals. Have a wonderful day. You're welcome. I wish you the best of luck in finding those deals. Enjoy your trip planning and have a fantastic day too. Lesson 11, Effective Presentations 
Hi Anna, I need some advice on how to support our presentation. Hi John. Sure, I can help. What aspect of the presentation do you need support with? I was thinking of incorporating visuals. Do you think that's a good idea? Absolutely. Visuals can help engage the audience and enhance understanding. That's what I was thinking too. What kind of visuals do you suggest? Depending on the content, you can use charts and graphs to present data. Good point. Visualizing data can make it easier to comprehend. You can also consider using images and illustrations to convey concepts. I like that idea. Images can make the presentation more visually appealing. Another option is to include videos or animations for a dynamic effect. That sounds interesting. Videos can bring the presentation to life. Just make sure the visuals are relevant and support your key points. I'll keep that in mind. It's important to have a cohesive message. Absolutely. The visuals should enhance the overall narrative. How about the layout and design of the presentation slides? Keep the design clean and uncluttered to maintain focus on the content. That makes sense. Simple and professional designs are usually more effective. Use legible fonts and appropriate colors for better readability. I'll ensure that the text is clear and easy to read. Thank you for the tip. You're welcome. Consistency in design is also important throughout the presentation. I'll make sure to maintain a consistent design theme. It creates a cohesive look. Additionally, practice your presentation to feel more confident and prepared. That's a great suggestion. Practice makes a big difference in delivery. Consider using cue cards or notes to stay on track during the presentation. Having notes handy can help ensure a smooth flow of information. And remember to engage the audience through eye contact and body language. Good point. Connecting with the audience is crucial for a successful presentation. Lastly, don't forget to leave room for questions and discussions at the end. Encouraging interaction can make the presentation more engaging. I'm sure your presentation will be fantastic with these strategies in place. Thank you. Your advice is invaluable. I appreciate your support. Lesson 12, Nutritious Ingredients. Hi Anna, have you ever wondered about the ingredients in our food? Hi John. Absolutely. It's important to know what we're consuming. I recently read a food label that mentioned real chicken. What does that mean? 
real chicken indicates that the product contains actual chicken meat. Ah, uh, I see. So it's not just a flavoring or artificial ingredient. That's correct. It means the chicken used is genuine and not a substitute. That's reassuring. It's good to know we're consuming real meat. Definitely. It's important to prioritize real ingredients for better nutrition. Speaking of nutrition, I noticed some products mention essential vitamins. What does that mean? Essential vitamins refer to nutrients that our bodies need to function properly. So these vitamins are necessary for our overall health and well-being? Yes, essential vitamins play a crucial role in supporting various bodily functions. That's fascinating. Can you give me an example of an essential vitamin? Vitamin C is an essential vitamin that supports the immune system. Ah, I've heard about vitamin C and its immune-boosting properties. Absolutely. It's important to get a variety of essential vitamins in our diet. Are there any other essential vitamins that we should be aware of? Vitamin D is another essential vitamin that helps with bone health. Ah, I've heard about the importance of vitamin D for strong bones. Yes, it's crucial to get enough vitamin D through sunlight or dietary sources. I'll make sure to include foods rich in essential vitamins in my diet. That's a great idea. Consuming a balanced diet is key for optimal nutrition. I agree. It's important to be mindful of what we put into our bodies. Lesson 13, Job Interviews Hi Anna, have you had any interviews yet? Hi John. Yes, I recently had an interview with a tech company. That's important. How did the interview go? Did you feel prepared? Overall, it went well. I had prepared by researching the company and practicing common interview questions. That's great to hear. Preparation is key for a successful interview. Absolutely. It's important to showcase your skills and qualifications. Did they ask you any challenging questions during the interview? Yes, they asked me about a time when I had to overcome a difficult situation at work. That can be a tough question. How did you handle it? I shared a specific example and explained how I resolved the issue by collaborating with my team. That's a great response. Showing teamwork and problem-solving skills is valuable. Thank you. It's important to provide clear and concise answers during interviews. That's true. Being able to communicate effectively is crucial. They also asked me about my long-term career goals. 
How did you approach that question? What did you say? I expressed my desire to grow within the company and take on more responsibilities in the future. That's a good way to show ambition and commitment. I believe it's important to align your goals with the company's values and vision. Absolutely. Employers appreciate candidates who are enthusiastic about the company's mission. They also asked me about my strengths and weaknesses. How did you handle that question? Did you mention any weaknesses? I focused on highlighting my strengths and mentioned a weakness that I've been working on improving. That's a smart approach. It shows self-awareness and a willingness to grow. Thank you. It's important to be authentic and honest during interviews. You're welcome. I'm glad I could offer some insights. Did they mention the next steps? Yes, they mentioned that they would contact me within the next week with a decision. That's exciting. I hope you receive positive news soon. Thank you. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I'll update you on the outcome. Best of luck. I believe in your abilities. Keep me posted. Lesson 14, Vacation Accommodations. Hi Anna, have you thought about where to stay during your vacation? Hi John. Yes, there are cozy bed and breakfasts, beachfront hotels, and even vacation rentals. That's great. What are the advantages of staying at a bed and breakfast? Bed and breakfasts offer a more personalized experience and often include a home-cooked breakfast. That sounds lovely. It's nice to have a cozy and welcoming atmosphere while traveling. Absolutely. Bed and breakfasts often have unique charm and character. What about beachfront hotels? What makes them a popular choice? Beachfront hotels provide easy access to the beach and beautiful ocean views. That's a major plus. Being able to relax on the beach without traveling far is convenient. Definitely. Many beachfront hotels also have amenities like pools and beachside restaurants. Sounds like a perfect option for a beach lover like me. Vacation rentals are another option worth considering. How are vacation rentals different from hotels and bed and breakfasts? Vacation rentals are usually private properties that you can rent for a short period. Ah, so it's like having a home away from home during your vacation. Exactly. Vacation rentals often provide more space and a kitchen for self-catering. That's convenient. It gives you the freedom to cook your own meals if you prefer. Yes, it can be a cost-effective option, especially for families or larger groups. 
I can see how that would be beneficial. It provides more flexibility. Absolutely. It's important to consider your preferences and needs when choosing accommodations. Are there any other types of accommodations that we should know about? There are also boutique hotels, luxury resorts, and campgrounds for those who enjoy camping. Wow, there are so many choices. It's important to do some research and find the best fit. Definitely. Reading reviews and checking the location and amenities are essential. Thank you. Your insights on vacation accommodations are very helpful. Lesson 15, Engaging in Meaningful Conversations Hi Anna, I couldn't agree more. It's great to discuss these issues together. Hi John. I believe meaningful conversations can broaden our perspectives. Absolutely. It helps us gain new insights and learn from each other. It's important to have open-minded discussions and consider different viewpoints. I agree. It encourages critical thinking and fosters a deeper understanding. Discussing important topics also allows us to challenge our own beliefs. That's true. It helps us grow and evolve as individuals. It's crucial to create a safe and respectful space for these conversations. Definitely. Everyone should feel comfortable expressing their opinions. Active listening is key during these discussions. It shows respect and empathy. Absolutely. It's important to listen to others without interrupting or judging. Asking thoughtful questions can also enrich the conversation. That's a great point. Questions help us delve deeper into the topic and explore different angles. Sharing personal experiences and anecdotes can make the conversation more relatable. Yes, personal stories add depth and create a connection between participants. It's important to use clear and concise language to express our thoughts. I agree. Effective communication ensures that our ideas are understood. Building on each other's ideas can lead to a more collaborative discussion. That's true. It allows us to collectively explore a topic and generate new insights. It's okay to respectfully disagree. Differing opinions can spark interesting debates. Absolutely. We can learn from each other even when we have different viewpoints. Summarizing the main points at the end of the conversation helps solidify the key takeaways. That's a great practice. It ensures that we leave the conversation with a clear understanding. Reflecting on the conversation afterward can further deepen our learning. I couldn't agree more. Self-reflection helps us internalize and apply what we've discussed. 
Lesson 16, Grocery Shopping Plans Hi Anna, I need to go grocery shopping today. What do you need to buy? Hi John. I need to buy some fresh fruits and vegetables for the week. What about you, what's on your shopping list? I need to get some eggs, bread, and milk. I'm running low on those essentials. Anything else you need? Yes, I also need to restock my pantry with rice, pasta, and canned beans. They're versatile ingredients to have on hand. Do you have any other items on your list? Besides the basics, I'm planning to buy some chicken, tomatoes, and lettuce for salads. I want to make healthier meal choices this week. What about you, any specific meal plans? That sounds great. I'm planning to make a vegetable stir-fry and a lentil soup this week. So, I'll need ingredients like carrots, bell peppers, onions, and lentils. Do you have any recipes in mind? Your meal plans sound delicious. I'm thinking of making spaghetti with marinara sauce and grilled chicken. It's a simple yet satisfying dish. Any other items you need to add to your list? Thank you. Your meal ideas sound tasty too. I think I'm all set with my grocery list. Is there anything else you need to buy? I think I have everything covered as well. I'll make sure to double check before heading to the store. It's always good to be organized. Do you prefer shopping at a specific grocery store? I usually go to the supermarket near my place. It's convenient and has a wide variety of products. What about you, do you have a preferred grocery store? I usually go to a nearby market. They have a great selection of fresh produce and it's a local business, which I like to support. Alright, I'll start preparing my shopping bags. Ready to go? Absolutely. I'll grab my reusable bags too. Let's head out and get our groceries. Have a productive shopping trip. Thank you. Let's make it a successful trip. Have a great time shopping and see you soon. Lesson 17, Origins and Travel. Hi Anna, that's good to hear. Where are you from? Hi John, I'm originally from California. And you? Oh, that's interesting. I'm from New York. So, California, huh? What's it like there? California is amazing. It has beautiful beaches, stunning mountains, and a perfect climate. There's always something to do and explore. Wow, it sounds like a dream destination. I've always wanted to visit California. What cities have you lived in? I've lived in San Francisco and Los Angeles. Both cities have their own unique charm and attractions. San Francisco is known for the Golden Gate Bridge, while Los Angeles offers a vibrant entertainment scene. That's fantastic. I've heard so much about San Francisco's iconic bridge. And Los Angeles, with Hollywood and all the celebrities, must be exciting. What made you move from California?
well, I moved for work and also to experience a different lifestyle. I wanted to explore new opportunities and immerse myself in a different culture. That's a brave decision. It takes courage to leave your comfort zone and venture into new territories. How has your experience been so far? It has been quite an adventure. I've met new people, tried new foods, and learned so much about different cultures. It has been a valuable learning experience for me. That's wonderful to hear. Traveling and living in different places can broaden our perspectives and teach us so much. Have you traveled to any other countries? Yes, I have. I've been fortunate to visit several countries in Europe and Asia. Each country had its own unique beauty and cultural heritage. That's impressive. Traveling to different countries must have exposed you to diverse traditions and customs. Did you have any favorite destinations? It's hard to pick just one. But I absolutely fell in love with Italy. The rich history, art, and delicious food made it an unforgettable experience. Italy is definitely on my travel bucket list. The art and cuisine there are renowned worldwide. I'll make sure to visit someday. Any other places you recommend? Greece is another must-visit destination. The ancient ruins, picturesque islands, and warm hospitality of the locals make it a truly magical place. Greece sounds incredible. I've always been fascinated by ancient civilizations. I'll definitely consider it for my future travels. Thank you for the recommendation. Lesson 18, Exploring Night Markets Hi Anna, have you discovered any great street food in this city? I heard the night markets are the go-to spots. Hi John. Yes, the night markets here are amazing. You can find a wide variety of delicious street food options. That sounds fantastic. Can you recommend any specific night market that I should visit? Absolutely. The Riverside Night Market is a popular one. It's known for its vibrant atmosphere and mouth-watering food stalls. That sounds like a great place to start. What kind of food can I expect to find there? You'll find a mix of local and international cuisines. From traditional snacks like dumplings and skewers to exotic dishes from different cultures. That's exciting. I'm always up for trying new flavors. Are there any must-try dishes you would recommend? Definitely try the local specialty, Shaolong Bao. It's a type of soup dumpling filled with flavorful broth and meat. It's a crowd favorite. Shaolong Bao sounds delicious. I'll make sure to try it. Is there anything else I shouldn't miss? Don't forget to try the stinky tofu. It may have a strong smell, but the taste is unique and surprisingly delightful. Stinky tofu, huh? I'm intrigued. I'll give it a shot. Are there any vegetarian or vegan options available? Absolutely. 
Many food stalls offer vegetarian and vegan dishes. You can find tasty options like vegetable spring rolls, tofu dishes, and fresh fruit smoothies. That's great! It's good to know there are options for everyone. Can I choose my seat at the night market? Generally, night markets have open seating areas where you can sit and enjoy your food. Some stalls may also have small tables and chairs nearby. That's convenient. I'm looking forward to savoring the food while soaking in the lively atmosphere of the night market. It's an experience you won't forget. The combination of delicious food, live music, and vibrant energy makes it a memorable night out. I can't wait to explore the Riverside Night Market and indulge in the street food. Thanks for the recommendations. You're welcome. Enjoy your food adventure and have a fantastic time exploring the night market. I will. I'm sure it will be an incredible culinary journey. I'll let you know how it goes.